and welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about whatever, whatever we want. want. Now, now I'm desensitized. I don't know if it's whatever we want anymore. Yeah. Not really. So, some things know. that we, we want to talk. We gotta change this shit because it's kind of like whatever we want, as long as we won't get canceled for it. Yeah, whatever's careful, boys. Welcome to camp. Welcome, welcome to careful, careful boys. boys. What is this segment? Careful boys news. Careful boys. <laughs> whatever. No news. It's just like off the cuff shit. We just talk oh, shit. Okay, yeah. okay, got it. No, like we came up with it because like, you know, we used to do just all news, but then sometimes we just like to talk. Yeah. So it's like podcast style. Talk okay. some shit. It's been a while since you were here. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah, since then you've been like a woo assassin. Where, was that? Are you a woo? What's the last thing you did? Assassin? I guess so. Does that make? You, is that what it is? Is that like the right term? Woo yeah. assassin. Well, I'm not the woo assassin, but you know I'm part you're of like his crew. Woo you're I'm like, like entourage. I'm like entourage of woo assassin. You're like Johnny Drama of the woo assassins. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. dude. That's not what bad. Woo assassin. It's a it's a TV show that we were hoping like Asians would galvanize behind and support in order to continue to progress like Asian media and stuff. But <laughs> I'm, I see you didn't support it. I definitely didn't know about it. Watch it, it's on Netflix. Is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if you don't have a Stop Asia Hay sticker on the back of your car, you're not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a sticker ASAP. Bro. I know. Okay, I'll get the sticker, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I need to know that you're a oh, fucking yeah. ally, dude. Dude, come on, man. It's I'm down for performative, too. Yeah. Like, I just need to see it. Yeah, we need to see that shit. Oh, I got shit. you covered, though. Yeah. That needs to be in your Instagram bio with a hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With my pronouns. By tonight, dude. Yeah, By dude. Tonight. It's like, it's like it better be I there. suck at crypto, yeah. hashtag stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at crypto. Uh, pronouns is he, they. <laughs> he, they. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, That's a good start. Was that, was that the uh, last thing before the pandemic that you were pretty much a regular on, or? Uh, the Wu Assassins? Didn't you yeah. shoot yeah, in yeah. the movie? Yeah, in we just saw so during, so during the pandemic. Ma- yeah, we, during oh, the pandemic, wow. we, we shot in Thailand, so we're you doing. Shot like the, a, it's, you shot the TV show and the movie? No, the TV show was before the pandemic. Oh, so we shot the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was way before, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like. No, but it came out like 2019 too. It came out 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how was shooting in Thailand? It was oh, man, it was awesome, man. It's fucking cool. Everything's on location, so it's not like we're shooting like on built sets. It's just like we're like at actual temples. Wow. Yeah, it was cool, man. It was was the craziest boys. shit you're allowed to careful boys say on this <laughs> that you did in Thailand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thailand, careful I mean, boys, so like, careful they, them. So, you know? like, so like everything was like pretty much open when we were there. Like legs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. COVID was very low. There was like no COVID. So like everything COVID. was so, like we would go out, we would go out, like, you know, we could go to clubs and stuff. And it was just so different than, you know, here. What was no masks? Here? No masks. People were just walking around. Wow. But you know what's funny? It's like right when I left, like immediately they ha- they got like huge cases. Cause you spread it all. And <laughs> and, and so like the people that we were hanging out with, right? Bef- the people that we were hanging out with, um, you know, they're in the entertainment industry and stuff. They they were on the newspaper <gasps> for being like. Um, the people that like these are the people that were spreading COVID. Oh. It was crazy too because we oh, were hanging shit. out with those those guys too at the time, and this is like like we just left, mm. and it was just like pretty insane. Was it a group full of Americans? And they're like these fuckers came to Thailand no, no, and spread like, COVID they're, everywhere. They were um, they're from Thai. Yeah, they were oh, getting yeah. executed Thai. afterwards. No, no, no. <laughs> were they closed? Just shamed. Just was, shamed. The, was the country closed? Closed. No, you could at that time you could go and then you just would have to quarantine. Was it early COVID? This was in January. This January. Oh, oh this shit. Year. This year. This year. Wow. Damn. Yeah. So we were there for like three months. And it was fun, man. It's just yeah. like, you know, have you guys been to Thailand? Yeah. Never. It's crazy. Never. The food is like insane. Out of this world. It's like everything just tastes thai. it's better. stronger. Tastes better. How's like, the pad thai out there? Was it good? It's good. It's good. It's like on the street. But like just works. like just tasting like chicken, like it just tastes different. The ingredients uh, yeah, or like something. The, yeah, yeah. Ingredients like all the produce and stuff. It's just better. Have were, was it like very pungent to you? Like the some of the like even rice smelled like fucking like fish sauce or something. Like it was rice. strong. Yeah, everything just has a you know yeah just tastes better. Yeah. Aromatic. Aromatic. Is it Thai spicy? Everything Thai spicy? Um, yeah, stuff is pretty spicy. You would just probably have to get stuff that's like. Yeah. Mild or no spice at all. I got a lot oh, of non spicy like stuff. Oh, I like spice. Spicy on everything. The boat noodles are real good. Yup. Did you, uh, did you, uh, be careful when you admit to this? Did you ride little elephants or hold baby tigers? 
Uh, no, no, unfortunately not. I hugged the monkey. Yeah, we weren't able to. I wish I could do that. Did you pick up a baby dolphin and take a picture with it. <laughs> <laughs> How about a snake? Nobody gives a fuck about snakes. Yeah, yeah. I had a big python around my neck. No one, yeah, nobody gets mad at you for holding snakes around your Is it because you? your shooting schedule is nuts? You didn't have time to have like. Yeah, we couldn't really like go to, to islands and stuff. What was your shooting schedule like? Like eight hour days, 12 hour days? Um. It's like eight to 12 hour days, I believe. You're just like, using both of my we're, answers. We're, 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 you just say 10. We were in Bangkok. He's being a careful oh. boy about the fucking time he's <laughs> Eight to 12. He's been over I, 20 I won't disclose. Years. It's, a, it's been over 20 years since I've been there. Oh yeah. I wanna go. What? Yeah. Like I feel like I mean I haven't been I've never been before so like I feel like it's usually like, like there's like a lot of tourists and stuff so mm -hmm. I feel like it was cool when we went because there no was food. just like no one there. Oh wow! So we just got to like roam around and it was just it was a lot of fun. That's on my must go list for sure. Yeah, Thailand. And we trained at this guy's um, um, Satyan's gym. He's like a popular Muay Thai uh, trainer out in in Thailand. So it was cool to just like oh, shit. train there. And what was the coach's name? Uh, Satyan. Never heard of him. God, this guy, dude. Wasn't listening. Are you a fighter? Yeah, dude. No. <laughs> but I follow a bunch of Thai guys. Oh, not that wish. guy. Not that yeah, guy. No. Like, so, so you got like Muay Thai training out there? I in didn't. Thailand? I didn't. I was just, like, I was just learning like, uh, like the choreography and stuff that I needed to do for the movie. Uh -huh. But then, um, yeah, other people were like going in and getting rounds in. People that were like already like, you know, th that have Muay Thai in them that that already uh, know how to do it, and they were like getting sports. rounds in and practicing and stuff. Oh, so it was cool to watch and stuff. I should have like taken advantage of it, but I am a, a little boy that doesn't want to get hurt and uh, No, you're just like a small man. It's I'm different. a small man. Did you get hurt doing this? Because you're doing action sh shit, right? You know, it's like I didn't get hurt, but what was funny was like I was at a, I was at a club towards the end of the shoot and then I, I had jumped off a, I was going up a stage to go to the, like a VIP area and, and um, when you go up the first side of the stage, there were no stairs, right? So I like hopped on. I was like, okay, but when I hopped off, I was assuming that there were no stairs on the other side. So I jumped off and there was like this, these stairs on the bottom and I just fucking my oh. ankle just Ooh. out. Oh my God. And I Rolled had one more pilot. week of like shooting. What, so you did it on a rolled ankle? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't step on this ankle. But what was funny was before I went to the club, the, the week before, the scene was that I got, spoiler alert, I get stabbed in, in that leg. Perfect! Oh, I was like, perfect. So yeah. then the next week I was just like, yeah, Broken well, leg. you know, this is what happened. When you fell, what was the scream that you let out? Uh, yeah. It fucking hurt. But I was drunk and oh. I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, I went up to, um, I went up to my castmate and I was like, dude, I messed up my ankle and then it's, it's, it's fucked. And then we just kept going. We just hung out. Rest <laughs> oh, of dude, it's fucked. And then the next morning it was like, it was bad. It stiffened up and shit? It was bad. Oh, swollen. Did you elevate it? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. That's, that's the only question I had. Did you elevate it? What does Satyan do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Make it stronger. Did he put Tiger Bomb on it? <laughs> I get this from America. Don't <laughs> 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 you got some Thai shit we can use? Like, no. How long was it? Icy <laughs> hot. <laughs> to kill O'Neal, like, CBD. Yeah. <laughs> CBD. <laughs> How long were you there for? Uh, January till the end of March. That's a long time! Yeah, it was, it was cool. I don't know if we're allowed to go there right now. I don't think we're allowed to go right now. Then you gotta be like a Hollywood actor, you know? On yeah, a work yeah. permit, yeah, an essential yeah. worker. Yeah. yeah, actually, you might be able to, actually. <laughs> you yeah, just have to there's quarantine. There's a lot of places that don't allow. Oh, yeah, that's there's right. Quarantine. I think they were doing a thing where like they allowed people to come and then quarantine on boats. Whoa! Whoa. That's that cool, is yo. dope. Cause we Japanese can come to the states, but we can't go to Japan. Oh, yeah. really? That's fair. Yeah. Wait, Japanese can't go to <laughs> Japan? Yeah. No, they could. Japanese can come to the states, but, you can't but then the well, U.S. Americans citizens. Can't. Oh, I see, I see, I see. But like, uh, they just lifted the travel yeah. ban for Europe and UK uh, in November. Oh, really? So they could travel. Wait, they're about to lift they're it. About to, yeah. Yeah. And then, so that means we can go that back to we Europe. can go there? We've always been able to go there. Oh. They couldn't they come here. here. So oh, it's right. weird. Yeah, it's weird rules like that. Hmm. Yeah, we've been able to go. Follow the money. Yep. Follow the money. Always. The paper trail, man. What the hell? The paper trail, what the hell, man? When does the movie come out? Uh, we don't know yet. I think maybe either December or January. It's called Wu Assassins? It's called Fistful of Vengeance. Oh, so that's, that's a, a tight title. Yeah, continuation 
movie of the series. What we're trying to do is like try to make a movie and people like it, then we'll make another movie after that. Sort of like a semi Wu Assassins franchise. Today's video is brought to you by Curology. So I've been using Curology now for over two years. Um, and it's been pretty cool because, you know, I waited till my 30s to actually get into skincare. I never did it in my 20s. And I don't think soap even touched this face in my teens. Really? Dude, I, I just rinsed with water. I never, I don't know, maybe, maybe the shampoo that I was washing my hair with dripped into my forehead, but then... I well, did the opposite. I, I brushed my teeth and I used the toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> but what's cool is that one of the reasons why I didn't get into it is because it was so complicated. Yeah. And I don't know. I just never really wanted to sit there and research and figure out. And I didn't, I never had a feeling of like, I want to make this better, you know? Yeah. When you do go down the skincare aisle, there's all kinds of chemicals you're like i don't know what this does what's this what's salicylic acid and there's all these things you're like what am i supposed to take it's super overwhelming it's super overwhelming yeah. and that's why curology is so cool because they have a licensed dermatology provider help you custom formulate things to whatever your goals are mm -hmm. so if you have acne or you got dark spots that you want to get rid of they can help you formulate something that's unique to you. And they also have all kinds of products. So they have body wash, they got emergency spot patches like you're trying to go to prom, yep. or you got an interview and you got a big old zit over here just put on top of it and help it go away. And it's super simple too. You just go on their site, fill out the survey of what your skin goals are, and then they come out with the formula. And for me, I have a face wash, so I can just wash it in the shower right quick. And then there is my special formula. And then there is a, uh, moisturizer that I use too to moisturize so pretty cool so yeah if you want to take your skincare to the next level go to curology.com slash off the record to unlock your free 30-day trial in one month you can see a huge difference with your skin all you gotta do is pay for shipping and handling that's curology.com c-u-r-o-l-o-g-y.com slash off the record to unlock your free 30-day trial all you have to do is pay for shipping and handling thank you very much do you guys go like when you guys are brainstorming you're like all right this has to do better numbers than shang chi we got it like fuck shang chi dude yeah. that right? they're like Damn. yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean we definitely have the desire to be like yeah we want a lot of people to watch it because if no one watches it we're not gonna maybe be able to make it like each one of these movies have a lot of pressure you know you do like crazy rich asians i'm sure the shang chi team's like oh we gotta at least get somewhere near that level and each movie i saw a crazy rich asian slot machine at the casino and i was like wow they really made it at the binions oh, oh bro dude. that you made it it's Damn. over They're, they that's got crazy. licensing deals all the way to slot machines slot machines of crazy rich asians that's yeah crazy. and i saw it in, in a couple of casinos dude i fucking love slot machines like that's themes and shit yeah. i love that shit i don't play slots at all but i love looking at that shit really, they they what, really what, what intrigues you about it it's just, it just oh, reminds me of being a kid and like, <laughs> like a kid in Chuck E. Cheese it's and like shit. like bejeweled and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I like the one where there's like a poker chick that she's a dealer, but even as a cartoon, she has big titties. Yeah. yeah they can't stop jiggling around. Yeah, they still yeah, jiggle, yeah, yeah, no matter what. And she's like dealing yeah, the cards just... and still jiggling. I'm yeah, like, even the animator really got this down. Yeah, <laughs> Remember that fighting game, Dead or Alive? Yeah. For like Dreamcast or whatever? It was no like the way. jiggliest game ever made. No way they could ever fight in those outfits. No, no fucking, fucking way. way. No, no way. fucking way, dude. Just have nipples everywhere. All, everywhere. Actually, all fighting games. I only yeah. played Tomb Raider for one reason. What was, was the reason? reason? To, no, to figure out the, yeah, the yeah, game, just right? just wanted to find, find the, the puzzles. The, the, yeah. yeah, the puzzles. Well, when she crawled, I think that I was, was really good. <laughs> And get blasted away. <laughs> I feel like, aren't there, aren't there like codes? Aren't there like cheat codes where you can make them naked and stuff? Bro, right. there's videos of Laura Croft getting fucked by monsters out there. <laughs> don't even sweat it. It's Did called good that? fan art. Hey, don't trip, bro. Yeah, don't I got some videos yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. You don't have videos of chits, it, bro. Yeah. Dude, yeah, none of them are I chits. I got Randy Couture, <laughs> Colin Farrell, and that's it, dude. He's like, have you seen Channing Tatum get an octopus <laughs> fucking limb around his dick? Have you ever seen G.I. Joe go in a tent? <laughs> And the tent's just shaking? I got those kind of videos. Dude, G.I. Joe fucking King Cobra, bro. I got you, I got you covered, bro. Bro, you ever see Snake Eyes you see Godzilla vs. King Cum? <laughs> King Cum. <laughs> yeah, my point collection is sick. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, just careful, boys. I can't even talk about it. No. Yeah. Careful, boys. He can't talk about how he played fucking like, X-Men. He wished Wolverine's pants would fly off. <laughs> you think he got adamantium yeah. dick? 
Yeah, yeah. that's a really dumb question. <laughs> but of course he would. But there's no bone in there. Oh, that's true. That's adamantium bones, dude. Yeah. But what when, about when, when he gets a boner? <laughs> It's just blood. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it could be liquid metal. It could be, yeah. Well, be better. Is, his, is his blood like. I don't know the, the world that, that well. Like, is the blood. With the mutant anima- world? I, I really don't. They're called and, mutants. Okay, mutants, sorry. Animantium. Okay. Is that his blood? Animantium steel. No. It's not his blood. No. His blood. Steel. Are you LARPing right now? You don't know fucking Wolverine facts? Yeah, dude. Steve's like. I kid. just know. I know Wolverine has the three things that come out. It's so, animantium oh, that's steel. That's all you know about Wolverine? I do. You don't know but he does super healing and shit? <laughs> okay, no, I know that. I know. Yeah, yeah, see, come on. He lives forever. forever. Does he know he lives forever? Does he live forever? He, he doesn't does live die. forever. He, he doesn't he die? Logan. He's a fucking jellyfish genius. Fuck no, he doesn't die, dude. No, he's got jellyfish. Coming genes. back, bro. The he's only way back. he dies is if his head gets separated. He I got think, stuck on a tree, I, dude. I think he's Hulk did It'd be fine. Yeah. Hulk did it in one he, Hulk killed him? And yeah, why, the did, why did he die in that one? Hulk ripped him in half or something. Yeah, that's the only way. Like, yeah. if you separate the head and the spine from the body, that's the only way. But he, so he died? Well, no, he actually chucked him, like, to Africa or something, and then Wolverine actually crawled back to his body. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was fucking shit. crazy. To Africa? Yeah. I think so he right. fucking swam? He in South America. He chucked them all the way. Yeah, he chucked so them all the way. So he swam all over the Atlantic? Yeah, Facts. I think so. Facts, y'all. Are you sure, dude? I was, dude. I remember this shit. Uh-huh. No, Wolverine crawls back to... I remember he crawled back to his body. No. The Hulk threw him into the sun. <laughs> no. No, it, it looked like he was dead though, for sure. It's all myth, huh? Create your own story about it. But there's so many storylines. <laughs> yeah, when I Google does Wolverine die, uh, the first thing it talks about is uh, before he dies from suffocation from hardening adamantium. What? He Kneeling in the sunset outside of Dr. Cornelius' base. What about Hulk kills Wolverine? All right. There's a storyline uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets thrown away? He rips him, rips him in half, chucks him to Africa. <laughs> I mean, he threw him from South America, like he's yeah, like in dude. Brazil or some shit. Yeah. Yep. He fucking football tosses in America. <laughs> fighting. Yeah. Uh, I, the first thing that comes up. You're listening to story. I thought they were friends. First thing that comes up says Marvel settled the Wolverine versus Hulk in the most disgusting way. The Hulk severely underestimated Wolverine's abilities and thought he could eat him alive. But killing Wolverine is practically impossible, even if he's devoured into little bits. In this yeah. fight, Wolverine was a decisive win against the Hulk, giving him his most disgusting victory. Of the so yeah, Hulk ate Wolverine, he ate and then him. he pooped him out <laughs> to South America. Right? <laughs> then Wolverine slowly rebuilt himself <laughs> from the shit pile. Yeah, <laughs> himself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this crazy. one says, uh, "Did the Hulk eat Wolverine? Ripping Wolverine in half is brutal enough, as the Hulk has done. But eating the beloved X member is a bridge too far. When he finished slicing up the Hulk's children, Old Man Logan finally got to the J Giant and stabbed him with his animant. Dude, what? Why is it so personal? Dude, he sliced his children. <laughs> what? Hulk got kids? Holy shit! Wait, why? Why, why do they have beef in the first place? Yeah, what's place? their beef? Because like, because he sliced up his kids. Okay. Yeah, so Wolverine <laughs> killed Hulk's kids. That's what it said. Jeez. Yeah, it's violent. It's actually yeah, I crazy. I thought they were both good guys. Yo, comics are wild. I thought, yeah, but yeah, good guys can become bad guys too, right? Yeah. We had this conversation. Because you know, in The Walking Dead, <laughs> in the bad, they change. Yeah, they People change. change. Oh, the comic, the comics in The Walking Dead is even crazier. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You well, didn't do real. any study of your your characters. Yeah. There's this. There's they do blowjobs and stuff too. We That's why you brought the blowjobs yeah. last time. Yeah. No, he brought the blowjobs, but yeah. there's blowjobs. I think blowjobs get brought up in every article. No, but they're yeah. they're doing uh, blowjobs in the prison and stuff. Remember when they were like in the prison, like all that. What I does that have to do a, with the story, with the progressing of the arc and all that? It's, it's <laughs> just human nature. It's human nature. You know, you need the release. Yeah. Dude, imagine it's like zombies again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, dude, that's like a frog with a fifi bag. Oh, oh the God, monkey, the the monkey frog. No, 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 there is. But then the the comics always are crazier than the TV show because yeah. of censorship. Yeah, we can't have it. Dude, if there's right. zombies around, I don't think blowjob is going to stick around, yo. There's no censorship for comics, right? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't think, think so. Think blowjob's going to be a thing. Uh, well, dude, think about in Walking Dead. I always think about this, too, because I'm like kind of a clean freak like yeah. when it comes to sex stuff. <laughs> like, dude, Walking Dead, they're so dirty and things. That's they, what I mean. They're fucking and stuff. I'm like, Ugh. dude, they don't got showers. They don't have uh, running water. They used to be just people, right? They're like, yeah. You saying guys. the zombies are fucking in Walking Dead? No, 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 no like, no. you're just saying it's dirty in that it's dirty. It's dirty. Yeah, but like, like, you're camping well, and then you just, isn't that just like cavemen. Isn't that like where yeah. we all came from in general? Yeah, but you think yeah, cavemen but... and cave women were like blowing each other all the time? I think that's why it pussy no. gets so wet. It's cleaning it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Salt cleaning system. It really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
That's what pre cum is for. Doug, we're doctors. But what about the outside? <laughs> yeah. hey, Lawrence, I don't know if you know this, but all of us here. That's what pre cum is for. <laughs> Google Wolverine crawling from Africa to South America to, you know to reattach. You could probably bring it on the pussy too, clean it up. Oh. <laughs> it, is, it is sterile. The, so what did people, what does that mean if it's sterile? What does that mean? What did people do in the pathogens in there, you dummy? <laughs> okay, so yeah, so oh, so it just means that it's just like there's nothing so, bad in it. Yeah, yeah so I won't. Do people yeah. Doesn't have healing properties. Shower like once a month. People oh, used to only shower like once a month because they thought it would make them sick. So they're still fucking every day though. Yep. But you think oh blowjobs were a thing though? Like it was that it was like rampant. I seen when fucking, what year? <laughs> yeah, I seen I seen that, Greek you know? I, I seen Greek pottery with fucking a girl being a, 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 a like a turkey rotisserie chicken yeah. and she's getting butt fucked and sucking on a dick. But they were cleaner uh, though. Yeah, I they feel like Greeks were clean. They did take group they're, baths. Mediterranean peoples. Yeah, yeah like they were never dirty yeah. and shit. Right. Even in Game of Thrones when they would go to like, like the Mediterranean. Like all demigods too. All right, how about this? Like back in the day in Las Vegas, they had the they had the bra. Models. They didn't have showers. Oh, like the Western times? People, were, even recently, when people were building the Boulder Dam and shit, like they came in fucking with all this uh, concrete grease on their body and they were fucking. Guys, I don't even think we need to go back in history or to post apocalyptic nonfiction or <laughs> fiction to think like dirty fucking happens every day. Dude, I've seen pottery in Las Vegas of a girl just getting fucked. <laughs> Holding two dicks. <laughs> Classic Bukake. Yeah. Hey, what are we actually talking about? Are we talking about pottery or dirty? They built, they built dirty Vegas bags. in the 60s, I think. Right or the 50s. Yeah. It's crazy. At all times, they were just gone. Yeah, they're going out. Dirty sex happens all the time after the bar. Or camping. Camping has camping. some dirty sex for sure. Camping. For sure. Yeah. Pretty dirty. Homeless people fuck like crazy, too. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> we're, we're psychologists, too, man. Also but but let me just have your back there because we're careful, boys. They're the unhomed. The unhomed. Yeah. Yeah. The unhoused. The unhoused. The unhoused. Yeah. We can't call them homeless no more. The unhoused. They're fucking unhoused, dude. Can you call them homies? Is that weird? I, Is that wrong? Are they your friends? They kind of are. If they're your homies, then yeah. Yeah, if they're your homie. Are we not all brothers and sisters under the sun? <clears throat> I guess we can call them brothers and sisters. <laughs> Dude, I was at a party one time and this guy was drunk as fuck and uh, we were like carrying him out and I'm like, I got you brother and he's like, I'm not your fucking brother, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> so you dropped him, right? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. so you beat his ass. <laughs> it was just one of those things where I'm already Hold holding him and, wallet, right? and I'm just like, right. I got you brother, yeah, don't you ever call me that, you piece of shit. He was like, and an he vomits on his shoes. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's like an only child and like him having a brother was like so like. It's a big deal. Yeah, That's like I'm up. an only child, you know, and if someone called. Actually, I don't care about the brother thing, but like, I mean, I could see like, maybe if I really, really wanted a brother and then it just never place. fucking happened, and then like, someone's like, yeah, you're my brother. I'm like, I never had a brother. <laughs> Fuck you, you're resentful. You. Could be. Resentful. Yeah. I think he was just an angry drunk, but maybe not. <laughs> He's probably just angry drunk.